the generous. What's good in the hood? Understood. I'm about to. No, y'all thought I was gonna flow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who is good with your old degenerates? We're back again, everybody. It's your boy Theo Badass. And this is your boy D Witty. How you doing this week, bro? I am good. How you doing this week? I got hit by a car. Oh. Oh, well, we don't have to. All right, let's talk about that. You know what? Without further ado, ready? Let's get the countdown down. Let's get. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. You see, I'm double working. Mm-hmm. Let's get the countdown. Let's get down, 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 down. Uh, three, two. See, I, I gotta do it on this week. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for three, two, one. My leg. Damn. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not lying to y'all, man. I love y'all. Fucking degenerates. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? I'm right here, y'all. What y'all gonna do about it? In your face. You probably turned this on and was like, we gonna hear some BS. No, you not. You finna hear that goodness, man. What's good? Grab y'all by the necks out here. I'm violent. I'm sorry. <laughs> I ain't fine tonight. What good, though, Dee? I am feeling good. I'm sorry. I got a second delay here. I'm just trying to find a vibe real quick. Find a little belly. For your belly. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm just feeling good right now. Okay, so let's get the show started. I hope everybody's saying it's in this week. You got to pay, belly. Oh. We ain't paying y'all, belly. However, <laughs> <laughs> do you want it? <laughs> All right, we are here once again with episode. Uh, I guess it's like, uh, I think like something. Yeah, twenty something. Okay, we'll put the number down. Yeah, get there, guys. Yeah, we gotta figure Hope out. Everybody is doing all right. Hope y'all doing good. Yes, it wasn't that bad. I actually got promoted. I'm doing my thing right now. Got oh, a little raise behind it. At work? Yeah. Dope. Yes. Dope. Yes. Can I can get a round of applause for me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank Shh, you. Thank you. Hand clap. Hand clap. Good snap. Uh, aside from that, how you been? I've been dope. I didn't get a promotion. But I am going to try to get another job and double up on uh, the equipment for the channel. Heard that. And then once again, let us celebrate tax season because it is upon us. It is a working man's Christmas. The best part about it is that we don't have to give anybody shit. Not a damn it. <laughs> it is a man's Christmas. It's a tax return. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Everybody that gets yeah, back. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so I've been getting back. So if everybody that get taxes back, y'all lucky. You don't get taxes back? No. no you exempt it? No, hold on. Let's not get into it. Just bottom line, though. You don't get, like, come no, on. No, child support. Man. Back child support. Uh, you already know. They they take everything. So that's the only reason I don't get them back. Damn. You? You would love tax season. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I've seen tax season one time when I was um 19. No, no, 17. I remember the amount I got back was one thousand seven hundred and seventy dollars. Marshall's was lit. Oh man, that's when the Man Alive was jumping off. We had a we had Man Alive. I don't know if they remember that. It's a up north thing. All my up north people that listen to this podcast, they they had that? that uh Man Alive was like it was like it had everything name brand, but it was like Man Alive cheap. Yeah, it was it was cheaper. Yeah, it used to be. It, it, man, not, it used to be like everything. They had everything. Like, they had Boss, Fila, you know what I'm saying? Nike, Jabot. They had all the hotness at the time. But nobody um, nobody had the type of prices that they had because they, they sold stuff for the cheap. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like go to the thrift store cheap, but it was like cheap to the point where it, it is affordable. You know what I'm saying? And they were beating out other people on the prices and everything. So, you know what I mean? They kind of shut down the game. Everything. Yeah, it's a day. Two men charged in Detroit, in Detroit mom's death. Mm. Damn. Sterling Heights man on the killing spree shot by mm. police in northern Oakland. Type in uh, Man Alive clothing store. <laughs> that's gonna make the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Because oh, I just put Man Alive. Yeah, yeah you put Man Alive, oh. man. That, that is. A Yo, subjects for there is a alive. dark name behind this clothing line, bro, with the store. Yeah, and Man Alive. 
is it in the zoo? Because I put the Detroit popped up. Yeah, no, yeah, it's in, it's it was in Kalamazoo. It's a if I'm not mistaken, it was a Midwest thing, but I don't know. They might have cut it off. They probably did. Don't you remember demo in the mall? Demo? No, I've never heard of demo. Crossroads Mall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we got one <laughs> called Crossroads. That popped up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Portage, Michigan, right. Crossroads. Yeah. Yeah. We Jimmy had Jazz. Was Jimmy Jazz a thing? Yeah. Jimmy Jazz is pretty popping where I'm from. Jazz? Jimmy Jazz. Mm. Oh, Jimmy Jazz? Yeah. No, I don't Shoes, know. Shoes, streetwear, and urban clothing. Kalamazoo. That, that, that must up. be new. That's something <laughs> new. It's got to be newish. What? Okay. Hold on a second. That's got to be new. We got to take a road. Hold on. We got to take a detour. Yeah, this I goes haven't... out to my boy D. Yeah, I don't know D about that. Where this from? Yeah. Oh, yeah. the top ten men's clothing stores in Kalamazoo. Ah, okay. Well, let's start at ten. <laughs> yeah, it's out of ten. Let's see what they yeah. got. We got Benefit, Benefit twice. twice. <laughs> Outlet Outlet store. Store. <laughs> you know, Outlet women's clothing, <laughs> men's clothing, electronics. Yeah, of course, Kalamazoo is like that. <laughs> you got. Golden, Golden Needle, Needle Taylor, Taylor shop. shop. Okay, that's a pimp's place. Okay, yeah. I ain't heard of that, but he, Joseph A. Bank. I heard Joseph A. Bank. That's been popping okay. for years. Okay. Spirit of Kalamazoo. That has to be relatively new. Ice cream, frozen yogurt, and men's clothing. Wow. That's How come you've never been there, bro? Because it's I want to go there now. But that, that's, that's my city, man. My city is weird like that. Bro. Okay. Our name, Kalamazoo, means mixing pot. Next I mean, time boiling pot. You go in, I'm going to go with you because I want to go here and I want to buy some sneakers and some ice cream. Yeah, when I go up there, when I go up there for vacation, I'm going, I'm going there and I'm going to take a picture of, of it <laughs> and I'm putting it on the, the podcast. Yeah, yes. Men's Warehouse, of course. How did Men's course. Warehouse beat the spirit of Kalamazoo? Because Men's Warehouse is probably where you do. we got a lot of business people in Kalamazoo. No, too. I, look at the rating. Because <laughs> we got a lot of business people up there. It's a lot of business folks. BJ, Benjamin, Big and Tall. Yeah, Big and Tall. That's been popping for a minute. We got a lot of big people up in Kalamazoo. Okay. Well, okay. no lie. We got a lot of big, tall folks. Coles. Uh, yeah. Yo, but BJ's clothes. popping. Yeah. Five Star Big. That's because. God dang. Yeah, that's because everybody go there, probably. And the Spirit's almost. Bro, Spirit got, the Spirit of Kalamazoo got a very good rating, too. Yeah, that, and that's at some mall. Yeah, Crossroads, too. That's so, why you got. It's in the Crossroads? Hold on. I think so. And now I feel like I'm there. Let's see. Kalamazoo Mall, 154. Oh, no, no, no. It's downtown. They, uh, okay. It's just uh, right downtown. That's for Kalamazoo Mall. Linus Boutique. I've heard about that. I think I heard my daughter go there one time. Okay. Suits, you menswear, and tailors. Okay. Like I said, we got a lot of business people. <laughs> we got a lot of businessmen in Libbins. Libbins. Yeah. I heard about Libbins. And that's five. That's yeah. the top. That's number one. Yeah. Libbins, Libbins, I think Libbins is where everybody get they like all of the, the modern, up to date, what it is, what it ain't type stuff. So that's probably what living is. It's basically like a crossover. Like you get the, basically kind of the um, preppy attire. Then you can get some of the streetwear. Probably. You can look at the look. Honestly, because I've never really looked at Detroit. Like when I, Okay, honestly, when I think Detroit, I think of like Eminem. So I think oversized and like hoodies. But is there like a, a tailor, like a style? Like Oh, yeah, yeah. Where I'm from. And is it more like Atlanta or Miami or... North, Our stuff North, more like uh, Kalamazoo is more like you get West Coast and East Coast mix, and you get South. It's a it's a boiling pot, so you get a mixture. You might get somebody with a Southwestern style. You know what I'm saying? They might be, you know what I'm saying, dressed like Westerners, but they look like they're from down south, and they probably talk like they're from up north somewhere. But it's like a whole just collectiveness of people and fashions just. To kind of meld it together. If you look up there, basically now it's the, it's whatever the fad is too. Sometimes it's, it's whatever the hot thing is. My city is they gravitate to the hot stuff because we were known for being little and we had to make noise by ourselves. So we had to make noise by separating so ourselves. Colors? Yeah, bright from, colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we are a city of like bright bright colors. You gonna see us when we coming through. Like. When cat when little cats get caught, they usually get bubbles and they set them up on things. You will see a lot of people where I'm from with you would know what they doing by what kind of car they drive, or you would know what they doing by what kind of clothes they wear. Cause you'd be like, ah, oh, bro, you don't go to work not no day out here, bro. And you got the new J's on, you got a fresh, 
fresh creased up pair of jeans with an old flicking shirt or something. No, bro. Jeans. Yeah, you got creased up jeans. You flicking over here. What are you doing in life? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what you're doing in life. You over here slanging something. But, that, <laughs> but that's, how, that's how most of them is. Uh, bro, okay. I know we didn't start here just talking about Detroit clo- calibers of clothing. Like, I was like, okay, yeah, where do we start? I'm sorry, let's backtrack here. Yeah, we talking about, um, I forgot what we were talking about. God damn. That's why I get to get high. Oh, let's talk about bike safety. Bike safety, yes. Yes. I, of course y'all know. I don't think I told y'all last week, it was my birthday. So, happy birthday to me. Thank you. Good, great time. Now, I got to I wouldn't call it a midlife crisis, but we will say I'm in the middle of my life if, you, if, if I really want to explain it. So I wanted, I got into this whole fitness routine, so I got a bike. You know what I'm saying? It was my birthday. Beautiful bike. Anyway, let me not make this a whole thing. This woman not paying attention kind of blindsided me, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, I just look at you. Yeah, she kind of like, I explained the story to you outside. You know, I yeah. gave you the whole demographic and everything. Yeah. Now, with that being said, you know, well... We can just kind of fill in the holes right here. Any questions that you felt or how you felt or, or, or how you feel about the situation. How you think. You see what I'm saying? And then I'll just go with off that energy. See what I'm saying? Okay. Well, I don't want, because I don't want to just explain it. Just, just be there and you're like, mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Tell me. From what you hear, tell me on your end, like, what okay, you think. So I haven't put any legal action yet. Yeah. I mean, I have. I put consideration. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking... Uh, her insurance company I don't want to put that much information out you know what I'm saying but yeah. just tell me now you know what I'm saying what the information I have given how far do you think I should press it should it be a full thing or should I just be, just take her for what it's worth through her provider I will go for it you gotta listen to what they provide talking about and then see if you gonna want to waste your time because you know most of that stuff be most of the time you try to get stuff like that look at my baby you know what I'm saying he's right here look at him like, they be wasting time. <laughs> yeah, it, and people, and now, if you got like a bike or something like that, you know, most people with cars don't even, they care less or don't even consider, you know what I'm saying, your bike even being you know, like. I don't even say that. I'll just continue, but uh, before I forget, shout out to the state trooper, man. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. Because, like, honestly, like, the, she coded a fucking fuck out of his story. I'm sorry to say it like that, but it was, I was looking bad for you, boy. And then out of nowhere, he saw through the bullshit. He took care of everything. That garbage. Yeah. Damn, man. They be doing too much, bro. That's what I don't like. Bro. I'm not going to get into details, but I'll get into some details. In the middle of the accident, she walks away and she asks the state trooper if she can go walk over to the daycare and get her grandkid. In the middle of the police report and the accident with the cop things going on and everything like that, and I'm like, what? Then I realize when she brings the little boy back, she brings him over to the state trooper to introduce the state trooper to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, hey, hi, meet the nice look. man. And I'm like, yo, come on, man. Make you just look real. Seriously, like, he just ran into my car like some madman. Seriously, yeah. Seriously, seriously, seriously. <laughs> yeah. seriously. yeah, that's one of them moments. Like, sir, <laughs> come on, man. But yeah, so if do you think? Well, I well, I think if. If you know, or and I'm not pretty sure they got cameras. They got they got the uh, street job, street light, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm assuming they would have cameras, right? Bro, I got okay. The reason why I got into the whole commute, like on a bike thing, yeah. is because it's great exercise. I work downtown. I'm a chef downtown in my spare time. Let me stop. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, chef life. And it's basically a good distance away. So I'm basically what you're saying. I'm running twelve. 12 and a, some change mm-hmm. on my bike a day. But yeah. I was not complaining. I loved it. It was a great, act, you know, great little workout, great little, got me focused when I hit the kitchen. Everything was all right. Yeah. Then it, <laughs> <coughs> then next thing you know, who was that? I'm not sure. She's a young old. I didn't see it at all. All right. Uh, you know, next thing you know, I was running with her for a while and then. Badonk, badonk. Mm. She was, like I said, she was not paying attention. Now, why, why I brought up bike safety when I say this is because, I mean, if you're driving, put the Bluetooth on, just listen to some music or a podcast. Who knows? Yeah. 
through a podcast, ours, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but at least if you know you're turning, doing whatever, like I, there's a reason why I don't use the bike lane because I see those crazy, like crazy right turn guys who will just jump through their street lane and jump into the bike lane because yeah. it's wide enough for their little, you know, mm-hmm. four fusions and shit. Like they'll just fucking mm-hmm. zip right up there and get out the of the cubes. Room. Yep. And I'm like, what the fuck, bro? So I stay on the sidewalk thinking I'm safe. Bro, you ain't safe nowhere. Anybody gets it. Everybody gets it. Mm, ABK, anybody can get it. All right, so to prevent this from happening, I mean, let's not make this like a positive story. I mean, it's a positive story, but this will happen. If you accidentally hit a commuter or anything that happens, most likely they will sue you. Mm-hmm. They will. If something is messed up. Oh, you're going to pay. You. Because that is... Let's go back to, to that is the opposite of that's why you see that's why we went to this where yeah this avenue now we're at this is a crazy drive you guys yeah like that's wild like you got to figure out if you want to press on with it my thing but my thing would be like a lot of times they ask you like you know a lot of people over dramatize stuff so you get people coming in there. Fair is fair though. Neck, yeah. That's what I'm bringing up. Like, no, my neck is fucked and my shoulder. My neck and shoulder is fucked. Yeah. That's for real. Now, what I want to bring up is, you know, some people see the fat, the ratio. 75 thou, 100 thou, 300, half a mil. Yeah. Yeah. Some people want it all. To me. Yeah. Honestly, to me. I'm not going to say it because I don't want people to judge my classification, okay? Yeah. But for me, I would do it for... Yeah, that's not like a good number, but yeah, it's not like a good. Damn, number. but you get it. Yeah, they would. They, Damn. Yeah, that's okay, tough to, that's tough okay, to okay. get out of there, though. Write the number down. Yeah, hold pretty, on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Down hey, don't clown me, bro. I would have been cool with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a decent number, but you write yours down. Let me see. What they you more than like in my scenario. You heard the whole story. Oh man, they more than likely Look, try to do this. <laughs> You will probably, you will probably more than likely get that, <laughs> if that. that. Okay, then what would you have done? That number is. Oh, far off. it's far off. Yeah, I that number it. is too far off. Yeah, it's still not bad though. Yeah, no, that ain't bad. If you had an automobile, that number would have been plausible. But you have a bike, so it, it's gonna be that right there. They gonna they gonna look at it like one. They gonna be like, bro, you can still walk. You think insurance will legal or what? Insurance is gonna try to squeeze you. That's why you you gonna get around that much because you. They gonna try to tell you that though? No. Oh no. Because you ain't got an automobile. And they're gonna be like, what's messed up on you? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be like, what's well, I, I do got some like Oh yeah, you know they 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 play the field. They're they're deep, they'll dive into like your medical records and see if you didn't have something pre existing and they'll hit you with that. You never you come to you come to court and next thing you know, you be like, yo man, this this happened, this happened, my neck, they be like, Well, about five years ago, he was an MMA fighter and he injured himself. Uh, wow, you yes. know what I'm saying? See, they got <laughs> they got stuff like that. They don't, don't do be things like that. Well, yeah, be, be, but don't go against me, bro. <laughs> <That's fucked up. laughs> see, yeah. like, see, I wanted to be a lawyer. That's why I studied. I studied something. And my auntie, um, my aunt Beverly, she a lawyer. She owned her own law firm in Milwaukee. And like, whenever I needed some advice when I was younger, she used to like sit us down and tell us about the laws and. My auntie, too, rest her soul. When she was alive, she used to make sure we knew. She was always saying, like, you have to know what you're going to do, when you're going to do it, and what will happen if you do it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to know all the things when you're finna go do something. You know what I mean? So that was basically, like, her her little inkling to let us know if you finna go out there and get in trouble and we can't stop you. Just don't get in trouble. That's going to keep you in, in jail for a long time. Or don't do something petty. You know what I'm saying? But if you finna go out there and hurt somebody or morally wound somebody or something like that, just know. Hold on. Objection, Your Honor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could do something petty. Fine. Yeah. But deal with the consequences. Yeah. If you... You can have a petty party in your house. Well, come yeah. on, man. You can do it. Yeah. You can go. You can throw a temperature. Let's in say anything. I won the lottery... I would have a petty party for one day. Yeah. Yeah, but that see that type of petty party is basically like you, you won two hundred million, Dia. Uh, yeah, just being petty. You're gonna, keep, you're gonna stay at SeaWorld? Uh, oh my sorry. You're gonna stay yeah. at the job? No. I wouldn't have no. See and what you gonna do? Like you're gonna go to work, you're gonna clock it in. Why are you clock no, it in? I would do it. I, I, I would clock not, it in. I would not lie. 
If I won two hundred million dollars, <laughs> you don't just gonna not show up. No, if I if I won two hundred million dollars, I would go to work. See, two days, knew it. I go to work for two days. Them two days, I try to recruit people. Just to, if I didn't like the job, this is what I do. If I didn't like the job, I would go there and I would tell a, a sorted amount of people and show them like, listen, bro, I just won two hundred million dollars. Not only am I gonna start my own business. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of other you shit. Probably buy the hotel. In That's what I'm saying. That's what I would. I would let them know. I'm like, I'm probably gonna either buy this whole hotel. Or I'm gonna buy <laughs> something around it to compete with it. You can come over there. I'll pay you a lot more. We could do all of this, that, and the third. And I would try to recruit some people. But if I would, I would go to work for two days, and I would let I would. That would be my penny, that my penny party. That's what I'm telling I would let somebody. Everybody, that's why I was like, objection. I'll be on the line. Have to give a petty party. Yeah, I would be. I would sit on the line, and then when the order came in, it could be like a hamburger, and they'd be like, "Yo, could you do this hamburger ASAP?" And I'd be like, "You know what? I'm too rich to be doing this. That you know what? I'm way too rich to be doing. What do you mean? You working? No, why no. would you? Could you just make the burger? Be like, fuck out of here. Can no, just... no, no, no. See, my pettiness knows no bounds. So, <laughs> I have you to... be petty than me. Yeah, so, yeah. I got a deep well of pettiness. That's why I got to block it off. Okay, so... Here's, okay. So here's about okay. Let's rate. Right. Okay, so that's that. That's your level, right? Mm -hmm. Two days, and then yep. you were out. But it out. Yeah, no, no, no. It wouldn't be two days, but I would go to work twice. The first day, and the I minute would work. order comes in. You're... Yeah, and then the second day. When I know I'll be, I, I would just let anything, I would let the smallest thing just set me off. I'll be like, I'll take That's it. Right. I'll be like, it'd be like, yo, gluten free bun. I'll be like, you know what? I'm too rich for this. I don't need this. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm finna buy this hotel. Why go to work? No, because I, I will tell them I'm about to buy this hotel. I'll be like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm finna buy this hotel. They were like, damn, you ain't like, got the money. I'll be like, I just want $200 million. <laughs> and I just worked it out where I just bought this hotel for like $60 million. So, all y'all is my employees. <laughs> That's all you wanted to do? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, I would. And I would have two people that previously owned it come up in there and be like, yeah, dude own this. So, yeah. It would be a very it. kitchen infused hotel. Though. Oh, man, they, <laughs> people would look at me. They would they would probably the look of awe in their face. Because whoever would be the top dog there, I would look at them and be like, you my bitch now. Just know it. You are mine now. Whatever you did before, just know this is and this is um what right to work state. So psh, you can catch the boo. You can catch the boo if you don't like what I'm saying. I can mm. fire you for anything. Hey, I don't like it because your hair is, is frosted with tips and your hair is frosted tipped. I don't like it. Fire. You pulling up the D on so yeah. You have to screw. I don't know why it's fucking like I wear jogging suits all the time. They be like, yeah, you're a business nigga. I'm like, I don't care. This will be the ballet shit when you pull up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh, man. Ew. That was <laughs> Burning right. that shit. Back to the show. <laughs> Oh, we will be here talking about car accidents and how much money's going on. But the Super Bowl happened. <sighs> Shit was whack. But this <sighs> was whack. When did, when the last thing come? I'm looking at the damn time here. What do you mean? Uh, 80, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm looking uh, at that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Super Bowl happened. Yeah. Yeah, that was whack, man. I ain't gonna lie, but you know what? That's karma. You know what I'm saying? You know why that was but karma? our legacy now. That's not karma. I mean, no, 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 no. I, it's the Patriots, man. It, it is what it is with them, man. Tom Brady went a lot. Okay, I hate him. I don't care what nobody say. You can't make me like him. None of y'all Tom Brady people out there. I hate his guts. But, um, not hate his guts like that. I don't hate his guts as a person. He probably, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, actually, no. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't like John Brady. I don't like it. I don't, I don't think I like he him has, as a person. He has a stronger dynasty than Michael Jordan now. Ah, he does. Yeah. Michael yeah. Jordan, no, Michael Jordan, if he formed Michael Jordan did it with more games. He played way more games. And um, even though football is more rigorous because you get hit, basketball is um, where is a, basically a wear him down sport because you run it, you know what I'm saying, running up and down. That's why you see a lot of players with knee injuries, ankle injuries, you know what I'm saying, leg injuries. You don't see a lot of um, and shoulder injuries, but you don't see a lot of 
upper body and upper respiratory injuries with um, football, I mean, basketball stars versus football stars. Okay. Yeah, like versus football stars. So um, I would think all in all, basically, you if you play basketball, you get wore down over time more than people who play football. When you leave football, if you don't nah, get hit in football, CTE, bro, you're getting CTE. Yeah, in but if basketball. you don't get, yeah, if you don't get hit that much in football, you can just walk away easily. It's a lot of people. You got Shannon Sharp, like all them. Oh, OJ killed didn't. everybody. Yeah, because but it's a lot of people <laughs> that you know. It's a lot of people that have walked away from football injury free. You know what I mean? They shout play out year. Deion Sanders. Yeah, shout out to Deion. It's P- yeah. Michael Irvin, folks like that. And Smith. Marshawn Lynch kind of got something wrong with him. No, Marshawn Lynch is just. <laughs> He from the hood. He from the hood, and that's 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 my boy. He from the hood, man. I Did like you want shots. a specific team? To win? Oh no, I'm a Raiders fan all day. Love my. That's my team. That's my football team. But that's why you don't hear me talk about it. I'm team. Detroit Lions fan, and we ain't made it there ever. So <laughs> since Tim Allen's, yeah, had two top in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, kick Tim Allen in the chest. Tim Allen be snitching. Like, Tim up? Allen should be a national hero, bro. I'm like, what he... no, he oh, he did it, snitch. No. Tim, Tim Allen ain't no hero in our town. Oh, yeah. You go to Kalamazoo, yeah. you better not ever say you know Tim. You better not ever say you kill you cool. So that Tim. can't be by AKA. I can't Ooh. be oh, Theo Badass, AKA Tim Allen, AKA oh, Tool no. Time. They can't. Nope. <laughs> you say Tim Taylor and Tool Time, they're going to be like, well, you snitching. You got to get, get I do, from I do know that story. Hey, y'all look that up on YouTube, man. Yeah. The, uh, it's in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Well, it was in Kalamazoo when he did that? Mm-hmm. No, shut up. Yes. Yeah, he told on a lot of people. That he told on a few of my family members and a lot of other people's family members. That's that's how I know. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, so we probably the next 20 minutes, which that'd be fine because we almost, we almost done it. We are chatting it up. Nah, shut up. I keep but, talking. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Tim <laughs> Allen, he snitched on a lot of people I know and a lot of people my people know and some of my people. So we don't mess with Mister Tim Allen where we from. He gets no love, no love in the club. No glove, love. No, he gets none of that. There's people that still want to. It's still people Damn. that want to touch Tim Allen. Tim Allen won't even mention Calumet. Damn, <laughs> he won't. He was going to Western Michigan. He was selling all of them. He was selling all of the little college kids cocaine. You know what I'm saying? And he was getting the cocaine from the people in the hood. Oh, yeah, the nerd. Oh, fucker had a nerd to have on a, a Western Michigan shirt. And the damn man. Oh, man. Oh. And I ain't gonna lie, man. I used to, man. I, I used to watch that, that show. show. Yeah, I did, bro. It made me want to be a builder. I don't everybody even did. With a dad, man. So he was like a good dad. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, everybody did. Like, I mean, Hell my bro. dad was there, but it was a point in time. <laughs> I mean, like, my dad. I didn't know my real dad for a good grip, but I had a, a father figure. You know what I'm saying? In my life, I had a dad there, but it was a certain period of time. You know, he went. He was in the army, so he was gone for a minute. So it was like, you know. Most of the time I had daddy there, most of the time I didn't. <laughs> but uh It's okay, dude. We, we we watched that. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a strong I had a strong mama. We we wasn't yeah, shout out to strong moms. Yeah, she wasn't she was dad and mama at the same time. But uh we so I used to watch the show and you know, get proud, like, yay, you know what I'm saying? We getting wrapped out here, you know what I'm saying? And found that out when I was a youngin. It was like, ah oh, man, I can't watch the show no more. I can't even mess with you now. Well, actually, I said this. Yes, I found it out when I was like, probably when I was in my teen, like 16, 17, is when I found out that, that he was, um, he had snitched on all them people because he had got caught with all that cocaine, three pounds, actually. Uh, or he, no, I think it was three pounds. God three damn, Tim Allen. Some kilos. He had caught with some weight. And it was uh, between the Battle Creek and the Kalamazoo Airport, uh, which was is right in our it's in our city. It's the airport is is where he was at. He was he had just flew back from like somewhere from getting all of it. And they caught him, and then uh, nicely he they caught him. So he he flipped, and he went and basically set up a whole bunch of buys with a whole bunch of other big dealers in Kalamazoo, mainly 
on the north side where I'm from. He set up a whole bunch of deals with a lot of them, uh, a lot of them cats, and they stung him. And Tim Allen was gone. Next thing you know, he became some big TV star out of nowhere. And we was like, damn, well, that's kind of funny. He snitched on everybody here and then left and became, he served like, what, three years or something like that in prison? And he was a millionaire. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, but, but you know. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. It's yeah, it's turning to a man tally, You know what I'm talking about? So, <laughs> all that. So, yeah, we don't, I don't, yeah, I don't look at Tim Allen saying, Tim Allen gets no love. God damn. Yeah, he don't get no love for me. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now he's worth, <laughs> oh, yeah. worth 80 million now. He's worth 80 million, but. He was selling all that cocaine. Uh, and, and, yeah. That's why you just gotta. Looking healthy, too, my brother. Yeah, he's looking real healthy. <laughs> There's people that still. He ain't got a gray hair in his head. Uh, no. Because <laughs> he, he, he wasn't worried about telling on everybody. I was gonna say, you don't look so stressed as a man who was in jail for three mm-hmm. pounds of cocaine. Yeah, and that's a lot. Bro, it's a lot of damn cocaine, bro. Yeah, damn. That was a he lot. Went, still in Detroit. I'm sorry to do. <laughs> yeah, it, no, it was Kalamazoo. He didn't even. He wouldn't. He wouldn't survive in Detroit. They'd kill him. <laughs> they would. My, my bad. Plus, you had White Boy Rick up there. Oh, oh, I want to see that movie. Yeah, you had Damn. White Boy Rick around that time. So White Boy Rick would have told Tim Taylor, "Man, you get fuck out of here, dude. This, I, I run this over here. You, you can get on. Get on with that. We ain't playing that around here." I noticed that um, the state is very um, Romanesque. <laughs> I hate to say it, like if you think about it. Yeah. A lot of very dominated territories and such things. Yeah. Now, back to now. Let's bring it back again. Back to Super Bowl. It was whack. You liked it or no? It was garbage. No, it was garbage. We did bring up the fact that neither of us do kind of like it. You know what I'm saying? Like it was. It was actually rated the lowest rated Super Bowl since like 2008 or nine. Yeah, since Tampa Bay and um, I'm a Tampa. I was a Tampa Bay fan. Yeah. I was a Dolphins fan once I was on. It was, uh, I think they, they said it was the lowest one since, like, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and somebody else is, like, scores, like, 6-3 at the end of the Super Bowl. It was, like, 6-3. What, the Giants? Are like, what? No, the Giants. Every time the Giants, well, I don't know. I think the Giants, two times I've seen the Giants go to the Super Bowl, they won. But I have not seen them go to the Super Bowl and lose. I probably did. Who knows? But... I would love to, get, to see the Patriots lose again. They're not going to lose. Well, now nah, they might lose. But they did last year. Well, I mean... They lost to the Eagles. Brady's getting old. Well, Philly needed that. I feel like they were more passionate. They are ready. Yeah. They, Philly they was ready to stomp somebody in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looked like the Rams was, too. But you know what? The reason I'm, I'm not too mad about that is whatever with Tom Brady in sixth ring. He... He's strong. The legacy is stronger than Michael Jordan. I nope. said it. No, nope. dude. We yes. Got, we got cheated out of the game. We got cheated out of the game with the Rams. No, we couldn't beat them, my Lions. They cheated us out of the game. And then my second favorite team, or my second team that I root for, not root for, I ain't going to make it sound like I'm a fair weather fan, though. I like Drew Brees. So I keep an eye on the Saints because Drew Brees is my favorite quarterback. I like Lions. Matt Stafford, I like him somewhat. But I like Detroit Lions as a whole. And Drew Brees is my favorite quarterback. I wish I could, like, draft him to the Lions. Drew Brees is like 4'11. He, he was a small oh, man. He's killing, <laughs> he killing it out here. He ain't damn, he's like 40. But he's still out here working them. Did he have his own cereal or not? Somebody else? No, that was Doug Flutie. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was Flutie <laughs> Flakes. Mm-hmm. All right. Sorry. I remember that. They kind of look alike. That's what I'm sorry. Yeah, Doug Flutie went to Boston College. Oh, he, okay. he threw that Hail Mary and won the game against... Uh, yeah, started a whole career. Yeah. Yep, Flutie Flakes. Then he was... um. If I'm not mistaken, he got... Oh, uh, never mind. He's six feet tall. Thank uh, you so much. Yeah, I'll finish it. Now, Drew Brees ain't smart. He about at my height. Tom Brady is 6'4". Yeah. God damn. He's a tall bastard. Yeah, I did. He's a tall one. He's a tall one. Peyton Mr. Manning Bruce. retired, right? Yes. Okay. I think Peyton Manning like 6'7". Russell Wilson. 5'11". Six... Yeah. Short bastard. See it, this man. Yeah. Anyway, for cool, bit. 
All right, let's wrap this up real quick. Let's, uh, let's get a little serious. <sighs> Michael Jackson, dog. Who? Or R. Kelly. Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, Jackson has a documentary. Oh, yeah, yeah. I watched that. You did? Yeah, no, I will. Just to see. Thank you so much. The amount of disrespect they're going to Any questions that, that you have in the next episode, what are the answers? You see what I'm saying? What are the questions you have? For the next episode. episode. What you seen? Yeah. I, if you don't know, but then what do you want to see out of this? What are the questions you have? Like, I want to see if he... Well, I want to see... This. I want to see if they bring up them... them it's all allegations. Charges. It's, yeah. No, well, I mean, nothing was proven because the, apparently these guys said they Mike didn't do anything off rip. Yeah. And the, now a lot of people saying, said it. A lot of people said, like, they... But they said they also paid. Yeah, that, because they... Now let's move on to other There was people trying to pay to keep Michael Image clean. They didn't want that to get out to the public. And even if it was a lie, it was still an incriminating enough lie. Michael Jackson is black. So if, if it was a, if it was like Harvey Weinstein, no. No, they wouldn't have cared. They'd be like, go, go, go say it. We don't care. But it's Michael Jackson, a black man. And Harvey he Weinstein had, can't dance. He can't moonwalk. No, Harvey All right, Harvey Weinstein stop, stop can't it. he can barely direct. <laughs> but we know what he can do. He's got money. And we know what he can do, and that's only because he should have used some of that money to buy our hookers instead of raping motherfuckers. But, you know, that's a different. That's different. That's different. Jesus, I'm not going to. Oh, my God. Harvey Weinstein just pissed me off, bro. He just looked like a human sludge ball. Like, literally. He looks dirty, even when he clean. He looked just like poodle. Like, walk your poodle in the middle of Central Park dirty when it's raining. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been to Central Park, but I'm pretty sure it's huge, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have dogs that they walk around with. So, he looked like one of them, like, he looked like he went to the gym, didn't take a shower, and just put on... Not to describe to me. Just put on clothes. <laughs> I think of, like, a Wonder Bread sandwich with a piece of bologna and the Kraft single, the white cheddar. Mm. But you leave it out in your patio... Oh, oh it's hot outside. Yeah, and then and they get like and then and then the sun rain comes, oh. and then it stops after fifteen minutes. Mm. And you know the texture that white on the sandwich, mm -hmm. like the bread with the mayonnaise, mm -hmm. and like see what I'm saying with everything. I, I would imagine that would be the texture of him. It's filthy. Not filthy as much soggy. Like nothing even happened to it. it just feels uh, hello. Mm. It's looking, man. It just looks disgusting. You just ugh. you don't even want to touch like. No, no, you look, you just point at it, like, ugh, you just like, mm. you just smell it, don't smell good, you like, ugh, man, it flies around it, nope, don't want it. I don't get my word up to it. All right, back to my Jackson, so yep. you don't believe that it was nothing really. Or you said it was that it was him, but at the same time, though, let's be real, um, fentanyl is a thing. They yeah. said that fentanyl was in his system. Also, Prince, that, that I think there was yeah. a new thing that was... That they didn't even know. They thought it was okay because it's not really like marijuana or alcohol or heroin. They it's old school. They found fentanyl in my nigga Mac Miller shit too. Yeah, rest in peace. But fentanyl, fentanyl is is more abundant nowadays. It's basically like a keep you woke drug, and most of the stars use it because they be working. Well, it's legal. Yeah, it is a legal drug. Yeah, and if you working like, just imagine you working twenty four, working twenty four hours. Yeah. I mean, fentanyl is actually like the crack of like the opioid situation right now. That's like the lower grade of oxys. And you see what oxys used yeah. to do. Oxys had people twerking. They had people out here going nuts, man. It was uh shaking and juking and nah, see, bro, that that was nasty, man. That was that was the opioid um the opioid crisis is serious. And I got you know family and friends that that. It's abused, and you know what I'm saying? It's abused by those opioids, by that opioid epidemic. Or, you know, you got friends that's going through it, you know what I'm saying? Fighting the addiction of it. So, I'm glad they took the you know, Quaaludes and all, and Oxycontin. Oh, the Quaaludes all like the same. The same. Yeah. Like they were all the... Just they imagine. Even, they didn't even reproduce nothing. No, God. no, they didn't even... I think they just, they might have even destroyed the recipe for it. That's some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No long, how come they couldn't do that for crack? I, I crack is, how is that a long tradition? <laughs> yeah, crack is, crack is something chemical. But everybody knows how to cook crack. That's what I'm laughing. I was like, how's yeah. that a standard tradition in all but like? Not, but not everybody know how to make quaaludes. But if nah. they did, 
Do you believe me? I would guarantee you that a lot of out of 40 or 50 year olds would be out here on it. They'd be on it. I never got why meth was popular. When was I, when was I popping and lose your teeth and like skin to like, uh, look like a zombie? Well, got it. When did that get cool? That's nasty. Yeah, yeah, meth. Uh, I think meth got cool when, when Quaaludes and stuff faded away. So and, crap. That's what I'm saying. We're just going to zip through because okay. So, Matt, this sort of thing. I know that. Yep. Somebody loves breaking bag and bad, and that's maybe remember that. Mm -hmm. Now, Quaaludes are done. Yep. Why do people still know how to cook crack? See, that's what I was saying. That's why I laughed. I was like, how is it such a tradition like meat, like spaghetti sauce? Mm. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Let me show you how to cook this. Come here. Yeah. First, you do this, drop some ice, stir it mm -hmm. around. Like, so you do bacon it. soda. <laughs> That's awesome. Whippin' it, whippin' it. Ugh. How do you pass this tradition? The end. They made it up. See, now you think about it when you're like, how is Dealing this? Dealing and dealing. But yeah, y'all, that's, that's why, man. That's why. <laughs> this week has been interesting. Let's say you didn't have a son, you had a daughter, if you knew how to cook crack with the teacher. Uh, you, if you knew how to cook great crack. No, I'm not teaching my daughter to cook no crack. What about your son, if you had a son? No, nah, I wouldn't teach him either. Your grandson? No. Who would you teach them? I'm definitely teaching my grandson how to cook no crack. You let the recipe die? And who has the greatest recipe? Hey, if they, whoever people want to teach them how to cook crack, teach them how to cook no, crack. No, you had the greatest crack recipe. No. Who would you pass it to? I'm not passing it to anyone. I don't need to destroy it. Because you don't need, I don't want to fuck crack. <laughs> crack is But you're making money. That's what I'm telling you, hypothetically. Oh, I wouldn't even make you money. You made a recipe, you did it, and you, it was okay. great. I just give, I give it to... I tell the I would cook it up for like the biggest dealer, I guess, and then I would give him the recipe. Like, here, take this. This is the best crack recipe ever. The things can come back for everything. Just give me like three thousand dollars and a half an ounce of weed, and I'm good. I don't. You don't need to ever need to mention my name. Nothing ever. Nothing. And that's what get to be the end. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even mess with it. You know Just, what? I'm gonna write the script for that. That sounds like a great story. But yeah, Sean, that being said, All right. uppercut. Aww. Thank you, guys. Dion, add crowd applause right here. Thank yeah. you. Go and drop that crowd applause. Let's give Dion some challenges. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Yep. Follow us at Degenerate Gents. Yep. Also, gamers, nerdies, and all kinds of illness. Yep. Game cameras and all kinds of illness. Okay. Uh, already know. See, uh, you got too many words in it. Mm hmm. Yeah, y'all y'all already know. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter. You can find D Witty on Snapchat at mm -hmm. Dot Man. Top Dot Man. What about Instagram? Top Dot Man. Facebook. Yon Witty. And uh, I think my Twitter is Top Dot Man too. I just made all Oh, you're on Twitter now. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I had it. You're on the Twitter now. I had Twitter for Are you now. I got like 800, oh, 800 something followers. God damn. Oh, yeah. not, not like you're bragging or anything. No, no. Oh, that's yeah. low. That's low for how low <laughs> I had it. Everybody else got like 10,000. Yeah. What you can find me on Instagram at Theo Denali. Also at Snapchat Theo Badass and Facebook Theo Denali. And with that being that's said, it. yo. That's it. With the pause, you ain't giving me nothing. You better put some sound effects or something. Oh, yeah, it's going to be something there. Crickets. You'll it's put gonna crickets be. in there. I know you're going to do something, Archie. I'm going to put some crickets in there. I'm going to put some crickets in there. But, y'all, until next week, we're going to see y'all, man. All right, then, you guys. Aside from that, you guys have a good night. Yeah. Click right. this video, man. Stop yeah. playing. Like, subscribe. Listen all the way to the end.